YouTube, Awesome Writer here. Welcome to my review for Avatar of Sentai Dom Brothers Episode 7. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys to like this video if you enjoy it and hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you get notifications for more Dom Brothers episode reviews and more. So I think this was probably the weakest entry in the series so far. Not like it was a horribly, like, awful episode. There wasn't really anything that annoyed me or anything or made me mad. I didn't feel like it was, like, a complete waste of time, but it was kind of your most run-of-the-mill filler episode of the series. You know, there was only really one, I think, thing added by this episode. Everything else was either just kind of general entertainment or something that just told us things we already knew. The main premise takes place at Oni Sister's school, and she's going to this special class, which is, she says, it's basically an elective. I don't know whether it's like an elective or just like a free time extracurricular class. I don't know if that matters, and I don't know why I'm spending so much time on it. But she's going to this class, which is effectively career day, the class, and big surprise, the first speaker is blue, and then the next speaker is red. It's funny because my first thought was like, oh, red's going to be the speaker, but then it was blue, and then red ended up showing up. And basically, there's some funny stuff with it. You know, all it really does is highlight things we already knew about the characters, which is blue's like strange, like, oh, money, I don't like money philosophy. That was a really eloquent way of putting it, Dawson. But basically, he talks about that, how he doesn't like money, he thinks it leads to greed, and then people are like, Oh, but then how do you pay for things? And he's like, so haikus. And then Red, you know, shows off his talents, and we just kind of get more of that whole, like, he's good at things, but he has an attitude, and people don't like him. And it, it brings it back to the fact that I do like that dynamic of having that classic Red that's good at things, but instead of being worshipped, he actually has people not liking him in a realistic manner. But uh, again, they had some amusing moments within this. Like, later on, they end up getting in these competitions, like, Red's in competition with the students a couple times, and then Blue and Red are in competition, and the students are kind of sitting there on their phones bored. That's why I was wondering if it was like an after-school class, because I'm like, if they're bored, why don't they just leave? But anyway, the point is, is they, they had some funny moments in this, but in terms of highlighting the characters, it didn't tell us anything we didn't already know about them. While that's going on, there's a monster around town that I think Black runs into and, and Pink sees that it happen, who's posting these little posters up that will like suck people up, not in a weird way. It turns out to be their principal because at the beginning Oni's sister sets it up that the principal is like really strict but he has a cold and he's the monster of the week. He shows up at their class and his power is he sets up these little posters or whatever and whenever someone disobeys it like disappears them. And then he takes the rangers to like this little classroom and is trying to teach them rules. Or whatever. It had some amusing moments in it. Um, I think the highlight of that sequence for me is that it showed off the worst that pink and black CG has looked. Because there's a moment where they're side by side just by themselves and it was definitely the most out of place the CG looked. But then, par for the course stuff. They defeat him on the ground, they defeat him in the mecha. Uh, the gear that comes out this week, was it Five Man? Was it the Supersonic Rangers? Dynaman, something man, history man, mystery man, it was it was one of the gears, and it went to Zenkaiser Black this time. I'm really curious to see, like, if the gear's going to somebody different every time, and by somebody different I mean Momotaro and Zenkaiser Black's gonna amount to anything, but it goes to him at the end. The human villains make a brief appearance, they kind of oversee the situation, and one of them appears and fights Red, and he's like, oh, you should join us, and he's like, I'll never join you! And then the only thing of, I would say, new value that was introduced in this episode was they ask Momotaro, like, why do you fight us all the time after the battle? And he's basically saying, I'm trying to get the team to get good. So I think that's the only thing that was new in this episode. Everything else, like I said, it wasn't a bad episode. It was the entertaining parts, but it was just a lot of information we already knew. It wasn't a whole lot of new content. The only thing I would say new was introduced was this idea about Red fighting them to get them better, and he mentions that at the end, like, you guys need to be better, and I think that's going to probably be a little bit of a mini-arc, is him trying to effectively shape the team up, and I'm going to predict, because it's Sentai, it's going to tie into some sort of teamwork lesson about how he needs to work as a team, so I would say that was maybe the only thing I introduced that I could see lasting a few more episodes. The only other thing I wanted to talk about was, you know, I want to see some progress on the Sentai Gear mystery. I think for the most part, the show's been pretty good about giving us little tidbits every episode or every few episodes about the world. Like, we learned about the points, we learned about how the villains work, we learned more about how the rangers work. Um, but every episode, we kind of end on, here's the gear, and then it shows up in somebody's hand. Which, I do like this. I like this build-up and foreshadowing. And we're only on episode 7. But after we got the scene in this week's episode, maybe because it was more of a filler episode, I was thinking, I want to see a little bit more of a hint. 
I'm not asking for us to, you know, give away the farm next episode, but I'd like to see a little bit progress on revealing a little bit more. Because for the most part, we've just gotten the same scene in every episode, which is either Zenkaiser Black catching the gear and looking suspicious, or Don Momotaro catching the gear and then Zenkaiser Black looks suspicious elsewhere. I just want to start seeing a little bit more hints towards progressing that aspect of the storyline, because I'm curious about it, and the little hints are getting repetitive. But overall, this was an alright episode. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5. That might seem kind of low. Like I said, I didn't hate this episode. It was just kind of the most run-of-the-mill Sentai filler episode of the series so far. But what did you guys think of this episode? Do you want to see more of the Zenkaiser Black gear mystery start to unfold? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, if like, comment, subscribe, climb the steps, ring that bell. See you occasions for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.